Hello team, happy Wednesday, Thursday. I don't even know what day it is. Happy Thursday. How are you guys? Um, I am doing all of my deliveries today. All of my deliveries. But I wanted to talk to you guys because some of sometimes when the Christmas cutoff passes, a lot of us go kind of dead and we don't do anything because we're like, oh, it won't get here before Christmas. But you guys, we can still get sales. Um, I highly suggest that first off, you look at whatever stock you have. Even if you have a little bit of stock. Go through your stock, see what you have, and see... Hey, good morning, Rachel. Um, see what you guys have. So I um, posted these mystery bags. And I had um, two, four, six, seven. Seven people claim a bag. And I was going to do it. Originally, my plan was to do it um, ordering on the 15th. But I was like, oh, man, like the sale is tomorrow. I really want to wait to see what's on the sale. So I went through my stock. And you guys, I made seven... Eight bags, actually, because I have an extra one. This one's an extra one, but you guys look. Extra bag. They're $20 each. And um, I sold some of them already. You can make baskets with stuff that you have. Make them all pretty. I also have stuff just loose here because as I'm doing deliveries, I'm letting people know, like, hey, I have bars, I have pods, I have mini fans. So if you want to get an extra gift or you forgot someone on your list, you can... Um, you know, knock off a gift this way. So look at what you have and um, offer it up. Like make a basket. It doesn't have to be like super big. It doesn't have to be $50. It could be $10, $15. People will buy those faster than the $50 baskets. I feel like my customers, when I put a $50 basket together, they don't buy it unless they're asking me to put a $50 basket together. So those smaller baskets might be um, easier for you to sell. And then you can take that money and turn around and buy more um, stock to have on hand of like things that are not so much holiday. Like I recommend if you're going to buy <clears throat> stock up on bars, don't buy the Christmas bars because Christmas is almost over. But you can still buy um, like the mint bars, stuff that are like wintry but not so much Christmassy, like not pine and stuff like that. Unless you have a customer base that likes that all year round. I do have one customer that likes her pine all year round. Um... You can still advertise the Bring Back My Bars. We still have the Bring Back My Bars until the end of the month. So just because the Christmas cutoff is done doesn't mean that we stop advertising the stuff that we have. We have the Bring Backs. We still have the sale for another hour. Um, we still have so much to offer our customers. Do not let the cutoff determine what PRV you end up with, okay? It's the, fifth, it's the 16th or the 17th of the month, y'all. I'm not done with my PRV. Mm -mm. My PRV can still grow. I still have 15 days to make my PRV um, into something more. And if you think about it, if you're at, I don't know, 200, 500, 1,000 or more, you're halfway through the month. You could double that potentially. So do not let the cutoff determine that you're done. You're not done. The month is still here. So get some mystery bags going, advertise the bring backs, uh, maybe push for having like a, like parties the last week of the month for like, you know, like new year's parties or whatever. Um, you can maybe do like a theme, like a gold party or a 2021 party or whatever. Um, and keep working your business. Like if it's not Christmas, it's not Christmas yet. Christmas is just one beautiful, exciting day that you should take off. But it's not, like, all the whole month, okay? So just giving you guys some ideas of what you guys can still do to get your PRV. I know some of you guys are working for promotions. Some of you guys are working to get paid at title. And these are the things that you guys can do to get that, to reach that, okay? So love you guys. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.